So hopefully my first print on my freshly upgraded uh, Adventurer 3. It was a Flashboard Adventurer 3, but now it's a Clipper Adventurer 3, uh, powered by a um, Big Tree Tech SKR Mini E3 uh, and some custom PCBs I've designed myself and a total rewiring. So yeah, as you can see, not even the screen remains. So now we're doing adaptive meshing. For those wondering, the hot end is a customized version of another design uh, and is using a Revo 6, which is really nice uh, and obviously has a BL touch. So, yeah, I will be sharing my designs on GitHub for the electrical electronic components and on printables for the 3D printed components. Hopefully that won't take me too long, just making sure everything works before I go publishing it because I don't want people, you know, trying my designs and, uh, you know, running into trouble because they don't work. So, I mean, I'm pretty confident that they do work now. I've put many, many hours and, you know, quite a few months worth of effort into this. Uh, so, yeah, but I will say this, um, unless you're fairly experienced with electronics and very experienced with building 3D printers, I do not recommend this upgrade. It is a massive amount of work, uh, and yeah, it's definitely not not for the faint of heart, I can assure you. Um, yeah. So yeah, like I said, this has taken me months. So admittedly, I've been developing it along the way, but um, yeah, it's, it's, a, it's hard yakka. Extruder is now heating up, and then it should do an adaptive purge. Adaptive purge, looking very nice. Wow, printing. Cool. My first print in a very long time with this machine. And yeah, I'm printing the Califlower calibration tool so I can dial in the, um, you know, dimensional accuracy. Because this print is fully enclosed, I plan to use it for printing ABS and that sort of thing. But yeah, pretty happy with that. That's um, working really well. By the way, the screen is the um, BTT TFT 35 MZ edition. I just had it lying around, so that's what I used. And as you can see, I recycled the LED lights from the original print head. So yeah, I've done really no effort to dial in the Z offsets. That's actually working pretty well considering. I literally, I just did the um, regular paper um, Z offset calibration, then added 0 0.25, uh, 0 0.25, sorry, 0 0.025 to it, and then you'd print. Yeah, how good does the uh, bore on adaptive purge look right there on the corner.
on that view with that. Anyway, I think I will let that go. Thanks for watching.